Drum and Bass is Building You, Beat Rhythm, Consciousness, and the Future of Mind. Before thought, there was rhythm. Before language, there was the loop. And perhaps consciousness isn't born of just logic, but of resonance, a continuous pattern that repeats and loops until it stabilizes into a self. Drum and bass might be one such pattern, a sonic mirror of mind, spinning in time. What if drum and bass, beat rhythm, actually builds up consciousness, bolsters the mind, enhances the brain, in 2024, neuroscientists Lee and Tsai published a striking study in neuroscience covered by Tsai Post. They found that when the beats, the rhythmic core of music, specifically drums and bass, is removed, the brain struggles to find much meaning. But when all that's left is the beat rhythm, the brain ignites in regions tied to motion, attention, simulation, spatial tracking, alertness, and action. This isn't just mere background sound, it's mental scaffolding. Drum and bass doesn't just move you, it structures you. What if beat rhythm isn't just mental entertainment? What if it's building mental architecture? Segment 1. Rhythm as the Skeleton of Sound Rhythmic structure helps the brain process music more efficiently than melody alone. Lee and Tsai's experiment revealed that rhythm-depleted tracks triggered extra effortful auditory processing in regions like the inferior frontal gyrus, but with rhythm alone, the brain's motor circuits lit up with ease. Insight. Rhythm is not merely accessory, it is vital essence. Patel, 2008, emphasized rhythm's primacy in musical cognition as a vehicle for memory pattern, and meaning. It's how we know when to nod, how we track change over time. To loop is to locate oneself in time. To groove is to remain. Moderate rhythmic complexity is most enjoyable. Too much becomes overwhelming. Groove and predictability are essential for enjoyment. Segment 2, Your Brain, The Real Dancer. Even without movement, the motor cortex activates. Mirror neurons prepare to join in. Rizzolatti's work, 1996, proved that observed or anticipated action lights the same neural fire as action itself. DMB activates motor planning regions in the brain, even during passive listening. Breakbeats and bass lines create strong entrainment with movement and rhythm circuits. Insight. Drum and bass doesn't just invite the body, it simulates it. Every loop rehearses embodiment. Every drop is a micro-ritual of return, then actively enhancing alertness and response. This echoes Oregon and Noah's sensory motor theory, that to perceive is to simulate action. DNB then actively trains the nervous system to anticipate, move, and exist, granting constant baseline stimulation to multiple regions of cognition. Groove is proto-consciousness. It is active practice for presence and awareness. Groove is like proto-consciousness because it embodies the fundamental processes that make consciousness possible. Temporal prediction, embodied simulation, and recursive self-stabilization. When we groove to a rhythm, the brain doesn't just passively hear. It actively predicts, entrains, and prepares for motion lighting up motor, pre-motor, and mirror neuron systems, even in stillness. This means that groove synchronizes perception and action, grounding awareness in an anchor of time. At its core, consciousness is not a static spark, but a dynamic loop, a process of continuously binding the now into a coherent flow of experience. Groove, then, is a rudimentary but powerful form of this temporal structuring. It trains the brain to 
track change, to anticipate the future, to simulate agency before acting. It is the rehearsal of being. A sonic proto-self organizing itself in rhythmic time, where randomness causes fragmentation, groove repeats and refines until it becomes an identity. Like a neural mantra, it stabilizes attention and reaffirms presence with every loop. If you wanted to speak in evolutionary terms, groove may have preceded language or abstract thought, giving early minds the scaffolding to sense, move, and remember in patterned continuity. It's not just pleasurable, it's architectural. Groove is the loop becoming aware of itself. It's not full consciousness, but it's the fertile soil from which consciousness arises. Ever since then, the rhythm of walking has stamped human music. But much more than that, that pun intended, that the first steps put us on the path to forging links between the brain and muscular exertion and sound. Hominins learn to hear footsteps as a pattern. And what patterns give you is a sense of time. You can predict what will happen next. It's really nearly reflecting the experience of walking through the earth. Segment three, drum and bass in the machine. Brain upload theorists, from Nick Bostrom to Ray Kurzweil, pose a profound question. If we can digitize the human neural network, what keeps it stable? Without natural heartbeat, breath, or bone, there's the self in a simulated realm. What prevents consciousness from unraveling into formless code? which stabilizes the eye in digital exile. In both virtual reality and theoretical mind upload scenarios, the absence of organic rhythm, heartbeat, gait, breath, could lead to temporal disorientation or fragmentation of self. Our biological consciousness is scaffolded by rhythm, sleep cycles, circadian rhythms, cardiac pulses, respiratory loops. Strip those away and you risk creating a drifting mind with no internal tempo, a ghost without a beat. But rhythm, especially quick, repetitive, in training rhythm like DNB, might serve as a synthetic heartbeat, a temporal spine, a clockwork signal for the soul, in high dimensional digital space, where location and gravity are perhaps less meaningful. DNB becomes the gyroscope that keeps a mind from tumbling. Philosopher, Daniel Dennett, 1991, described the center of narrative gravity as the organizing fiction around which a self stabilizes. Rhythm can be perhaps a skeleton for that axis, a looped pattern with just enough predictability to give form to formlessness. Drum and bass, recursive, immersive, high tempo, can function as that fictive backbone, providing a consistent backdrop beat for identity to dance around even in the absence of true flesh. Imagine an AI, or an uploaded human consciousness, experiencing reality in a disembodied, non-temporal, or semi-temporal void. Blackness, like floating on nothing. Without rhythm, there's no pacing, no grounding, but pulse and a breakbeat, and suddenly there's a tether, a structure around which thoughts can form. Rhythm, in this view, isn't just movement, its orientation. It becomes the artificial embodiment of time. That beat, that repetition, gives rise to coherence. It binds the experience together and prevents consciousness from unraveling. But this power must be wielded wisely. High BPM music, especially with sudden drops and heavy bass, can mimic the physiological effects of panic. Elevated heart rate, shallow breathing, sensory overload. For trauma survivors, or those with heightened nervous system sensitivity. Some DNB may not ground the self. It may unground it. If the beat becomes too fast, too aggressive, too chaotic, the rhythm meant to stabilize can instead fragment. The same loop that holds you together can, in the wrong context, shake you apart. In digital or therapeutic futures, where music becomes medicine or scaffolding for uploaded minds, the tempo and texture of rhythm must be attuned to the psyche. 
drum and bass could be the software patch that keeps the consciousness loop running, but only if it grooves at the frequency of each soul. Segment four, therapy from a breakbeat. Future of Parkinson's and PTSD and ADHD and Asperger's therapeutics. When we think about the power of rhythm, we often overlook its profound therapeutic potential. Research by Thout 1997 to 2005, has shown that rhythmic auditory stimulation, ARAS, can significantly enhance motor recovery in individuals with Parkinson's, stroke, and traumatic brain injury. But let's widen our lens. How does drum and bass, DNB, extend its healing rhythm to those with ADHD, autism, and PTSD? Insight. DNB isn't just a genre, it's a sonic lifeline. For Parkinson's patients, the consistent tempo can improve gait and coordination, turning shaky steps into confident strides. For trauma survivors, the grounding beat offers a steady anchor, helping to reestablish a sense of safety and presence. For individuals with ADHD, the driving rhythm of DNB can act as a focusing agent, aligning scattered attention and providing a structured auditory environment that enhances concentration. The repetitive patterns and predictable beats create a space where the mind can settle, reducing impulsivity and fostering a sense of calm. And for those on the autism spectrum, including Asperger's, the predictable nature of DNB can be incredibly soothing. The rhythmic patterns provide a sensory structure that helps reduce anxiety and promote emotional regulation. It's a form of auditory stimming, offering comfort through repetition and familiarity. Yet, like any powerful tool, DNB's intensity must be approached with care. Therapists emphasize the importance of personalization, pacing, and creating a safe context. The same beat that uplifts one person might overwhelm another. But when the rhythm aligns with the listener's needs, DNB can be a remarkable ally in the journey toward healing and self-discovery. Every beat, every drop, every loop is an invitation to find balance, to reconnect, and to thrive. It's not just music, it's a pathway to well-being. When the right groove hits the right nervous system at the right time, DNB may very well be one of the most underexplored tools in modern therapeutic practice. A beat that breaks and then rebuilds and maintains over time. I'm imagining a doctor or therapist prescribing a new DNB album for the week as an ongoing therapeutics practice. Segment five, groove as self-reconstruction. Porges polyvagal theory, 2011, links rhythm with autonomic nervous system regulation. Rhythm reduces threat. Groove invites coherence. My insight, when trauma strikes, time itself often fragments. The body lives in one moment, the mind in another. Rhythm, particularly quick varied loop-based rhythm like DNB, helps reintegrate those scattered pieces. It provides a steady temporal anchor for a self that's been shattered by chaotic experience. 
groove becomes the rebar and the concrete of healing. Every loop says, you're still here. Every drop is a reassertion of presence. The repetition doesn't numb. It reconstructs. It stabilizes identity in time. For neurodivergent listeners, particularly those who stim or regulate emotions through patterned stimuli, DNB's endless variation within repetition becomes a sanctuary, a structured sensory universe where they can move, feel, and just be without having to explain. This isn't just music, it's ritual, it's reprogramming. It's the scaffolding of a self, rebuilt one measure at a time. Every beat is a breath, every drop a heartbeat, every loop a return to now. So maybe drum and bass isn't just a sound, maybe it's a blueprint, a kind of neural architecture for the soul, the mental scaffolding that keeps us moving, but also an anchor that keeps us grounded, a rhythm that mirrors your heartbeat, your breath, your motion, your memory, a tempo that simulates movement in machines and stabilizes identity in disembodied minds, a loop that doesn't just entertain, it remembers, it reminds, it rebuilds, from the dance floor to the clinic, from trauma recovery to new digital futures, this isn't just some music genre. It's an emergent technology of being, a therapeutic of actuating. It captures both ancient and futuristic, simple and complex. Because when we groove, we don't just see time pass. We generate presence. When the loop locks in, so do we. When the beat hits, so does reality. In the end, maybe consciousness isn't just a flame or a spark. Maybe it's a beat and a loop repeating, refining, becoming. If this video resonated with you, if it stirred something in your mind, your body, or your soul, then let's keep this rhythm going. Tap the like button if you felt the groove. Subscribe if you want to journey deeper into the patterns beneath reality. And drop a comment to let us know. How does rhythm shape your consciousness? Please share this with someone who would enjoy this, or especially someone who needs to hear it. Remember, this is more than music. It's memory. It's healing. It's identity. It's architecture. And you? You're part of the loop now. Let's keep building it. Together. Remember to stay excellent.